Okay, in this video, um, I'm going to focus on producing this report, which is question 41 of this paper. Um, so I'm just going to go through each bullet point in turn. It says, so the first, for the first one, it says that we need to create a new field called cost, which is calculated at one time. As soon as you see that wording, you know that you're going to be creating a calculated field. You need to remember that whenever it says produce a report, the first thing that you're going to do before you create the report is create a query and then your report will be based on that query. That's always going to be the case. So you always create a query first. So basically my new field is called cost and it should calculate price multiplied by reorder. So I've now performed that calculation of the query which is what I'm now going to set up. So I go to my database, I've already imported my file and added the records that I needed to add. I'll go ahead and create the query. So I'll go to create, query design, and I'm just going to double click on this table and then close this box. Now, it's just a little bit quicker than using the wizard. If you just click, double click here to select all the fields, then you just click and drag down here and they'll just appear. Okay, so to create a calculated field, you need to scroll across and find the next available column to type the new field in. Once you've done that, um, you can use the builder to then create your uh, calculated field, which is what I'm going to do now. So the builder is here, you just click on that. And then you're going to go into tables, because you need to find the fields that you want in the calculation, and they're on the table. And then you click on J8 Pods, which is your uh, table. And here are your list of fields. So it said that we, I'll just go back to the question. It said that we're calculating price is being multiplied by the order okay so i need to select price double click on it and you'll see it appears up here in the builder and then multiplies this symbol here at the start by reorder and just double click on that and then that's okay the only thing you've got now to do is to put in your the name of your new field so if i press okay and i widen this column out um and i'll just Go back. Okay, so here's the whole calculation. <coughs> and as you can see, the field name has got a default name, which is called expression one. We need to change that to what it should be according to the question. So it should be, it should be called cost. Okay, so that's the name of my field. So I'll just go back to my database. And I will then replace this text, expression one, with the name of my fields. So I should say cost, it's like that. What the builder does is it means that you don't have to remember to put the name of your field first, but followed by a colon, and then put the name of your fields that are in the calculation in square brackets. So it just makes it a little bit easier for you. If I run that query now, um, I've now got my cost field with the calculation, which is price multiplied by the order. That's going to be that. If you want to, in your exams, you can bring a calculator just to check that the calculation is correct. Okay, so that's actually now done. I'll just highlight the sections that I do so it's really clear what I've done. Okay, then it says the cost field should be set as currency with two decimal places. So if we go back into design view of our query, just click on your field and open this property sheet and then go to format, currency and decimal places too. It's already set actually to that. So if we check, it's already set like that. If it's not, then that's what you need to do. You go into design view and into property sheet. The reason it's already set is because the price is part of the calculation. So access modes that cost also has to be a currency format. 